everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is angeline and i am the owner of angelic creations so today i have another diy video and i wanted to make something for my mom i really don't know the name of it but once i start to put everything together you all look at the picture so i printed out four pictures these are three and i've already placed it one inside of the frame i purchased these frames from dollar tree and i printed these images out at home on my hp printer so I have two, um, two different sizes. I have two five by sevens, and I have two. What size are these? Two four by sixes. So I printed my images out, and I have already taken off my bags. Don't worry about that because we're going to cover that up with tissue paper anyway. We're going to remove the um, paper that comes with inside of it. And now we're going to place our pictures on the inside, of course. Place this back on. And now we're just going to press down these little um, holders here. It's one on each side. Okay. And now we are all done. We placed our pictures in the inside. Now you're going to need your hot glue gun. I'm also going to be using some E6000. For extra holes so I have e6000 this is the one that dries clear and I'm also going to use my happy one so let's work on that step back okay so now I'm ready to put all four of my frames together so I placed the smaller frame at the bottom and now I'm going to put my bigger frames on the side so I have my hot glue gun so I'm going to just place a dab of hot glue along here you got to move pretty quick with hot glue I probably should have put down my E6000 first, but I chose to put my hot glue down. And now, of course, my E6000 is getting stuck. And I'm just going to place my E6000 in the center of each of the lines that I created for the hot glue. And now I'm going to place them together against each other. And I placed my hot glue gun, my hot glue on there first, sorry. So that it is a temporary hole while I'm putting everything together. Now, the E6000 is going to make it last a little bit longer. So as you can see, it's already stuck due to the hot glue gun. Because if I had not put the hot glue on there and I just used E6000, I wouldn't have been able to move this quick. So now I'm going to place my hot glue. Uh, no, my E6000. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to place my E6000 on first this time. And I just did it a little. I spaced it out just a bit. Because in the center of each of where I place my E6000, I'm going to place the hot glue gun. The hot glue. Sorry, I don't know why I keep saying hot glue gun. But the hot glue. So, make sure I put it on the right way. Place it down, and now I am going to press them against each other so that it holds. And I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds like I did the other side. Okay, and now we're ready to place our final frame. Okay, this is going to go in the center. Like so. Okay, I know I have to move a little quick now. Because I have to place glue on both sides of this frame. So I'm going to place down my E6000 first. Remember E6000 doesn't dry as quick as um, the hot glue does. So I can place this down first. And next, I'm going to take my hot glue. So I got to move a bit quicker. Okay. And now I'm going to gently place this frame in between. Try not to make a mess. Okay. So I have my left side down. I'm just going to move my right side up just a little bit more. There we go. 
that looks good for so far. And now we can squeeze them together. The hot glue just gushing out. Just take it off. Put it to the side. It's easy to come off. Okay, so I think we have what we supposed to be looking for. So I just have a little hot glue gushing out on the sides, but that's okay. Because this is what we have so far. I like how it's turning out so far, so good. Now, for my bottom, what I'm gonna do is I have some leftover cardboard that I have from this priority box. So I'm just gonna place my frame on top of it. I'm gonna line it up. And I'm gonna get my marker. And I'm just going to trace around so that I can cut this out and place it at the bottom. Okay, so once you have placed all of your frames together, you now have something that looks like this. Okay, and now you can start incorporating whatever you want to put in the inside. So I placed a generous amount of um, tissue paper that I got from out of my Victoria's Secret bags because I do recycle and reuse. So I'm going to place a bunch of that at the bottom and then I have a bunch more sheets here. And I'm going to just press down just a little bit so it can sit up high. Now I don't know exactly what I want to place inside of my mom's, um, what, what, what am I calling it? Photo box, I guess. So I don't know exactly what I want to place inside of hers, but I just grab whatever I had around the house. So I'm just placing some lotion, perfume, a little wallet. Some lip gloss and I just had random stuff just laying around the house so I'm just incorporating all of that inside of it okay and now we have something that looks like this it's really cute very sturdy since I placed the cardboard at the bottom I'm glad I did that very nice weight, not too heavy, not too light. But this is the final product right here. Really, really cute. I love the way that it turned out. I am definitely going to make this again. And I have so many other ideas for this. I want to make a bigger one for my mom. She pretty much get everything that I make. Okay, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you love the video, make sure you share it with your family and friends. And please stay tuned because we have plenty more videos coming soon. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the description box below. Bye.